Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, let us solve a common problem that asks us to find an empirical formula and a molecular formula given a ratio of elements in a compound. On compound koti a compound ali 4.07% hydrogen idhe, 24.27% carbon idhe, 71% is chlorine. Its molar mass is 98.96 grams. We are supposed to find what is its empirical and molecular formula. Okay, so that's what we are supposed to find. And Hege Kandidio though, what is that we can use to find this? We can use the carbon's atomic weight, we can use hydrogen's atomic weight, and we can use chlorine's atomic weight to solve this problem. So this is a multi-step problem. Let us look at all the steps. So these are the many steps. First we find, uh, using the percentage, we find how many grams of individual elements are there in 100 grams. And then we find how many moles of individual elements are there in 100 grams using the grams. And then we find the ratio of the moles of different elements. Using the mole ratio, we find the empirical formula. And using the empirical formula, we find the mass of empirical formula unit. And using the empirical formula mass, uh, we find the molecular formula. So using this and the mole, uh, mole mass of the molecule, we find the molecular formula. So there are many steps in this problem. So let's do the first step. How many grams of individual elements are there in a 100 gram of the compound? <clears throat> you might ask the question, why we have picked 100 grams? I mean, we can pick anything. In another pick, 100 grams, you pick the percentage, you can easy to convert 100 grams. Multiply by 100, 4.07, 24.27, 71.96, 71.96, 71.96, 71.96, 71.96, 71.96, 71.96, 71.96, 71.96, 71.96, 71.96, 71.96, 71.96, 71.96, 71.96, 71.96, 71.96, 71.
Now in this case, we got 211. Sometimes you may not get 211. You might get some decimal. Decimal barbodo. Avaga, we have to multiply that with some whole number so that we get something like 211. Namge whole number barbeko. Kadare empirical ratio alin of decimal use madakagala. We need whole number. So that is why this is important. Okay. Sorry. Next step, you know, once we found the ratio of the moles. Now, ratio of the moles actually is empirical formula. Adana hegenta noana. So the empirical formula is what? It's basically the ratio of the moles. Okay, so that is roughly what is empirical formula. And in this case, we know hydrogen, there are two, is to one, is to one is the ratio to carbon and chlorine. So we could have written H2C1Cl1, which is what we've we have written, but usually carbon nidra, we write carbon first. So that is why it is CH2Cl. And there is one of carbon, two of hydrogen, and one of chlorine. But we don't write the one. So the actual empirical formula is CH2Cl. This is the empirical formula. Note, this is not the same as molecular formula. Molecular formula, uh, it will be the multiple of empirical formula, but it may not be exactly empirical formula. So how do you find molecular formula? No, no. So now that we've found empirical formula, we have to find empirical formula mass so that we can find molecular formula. So empirical formula mass and reno. So the empirical formula mass is if this was a molecule by itself, let's say this was a molecule by itself, what will be the mass of it? How do you find the mass? We convert that into grams. How do you find it converted to grams? We know that one mole of carbon will be 12.01 grams. We know that one mole of H2 will be 2 times 1.008 grams. And we know that one mole of chlorine will be 35.45. Yell in the sikto, yell atomic weight the yalla, based on that. So if you add all of this up, you get 49.48 grams. Okay, and that is the empirical formula mass. Now, what does that mean? For a chemical whose formula is CH2Cl, one mole of such a chemical will have 49.48 grams uh, of weight, of mass, and it will have Avogadro's number of formula units of CH2Cl. Okay, so that's what this means. But this is not the same as having molecular mass. Molar mass is different. So then we'll use this empirical formula mass and we will Calculate the molecular formula. Molecular formula condition. What is a molecular formula? The molecular formula hen condition. We take the molar mass of the molecule. Molar mass of the molecule first quote here problem. It is given as 98.96 grams. And then we divide it by empirical formula mass. So empirical formula mass and divide Madhaga. We get 2 in this case. So 98.96 divided by 49.48 is 2. So this we call it as N nanta ankoli. So let's call this as N. What it this means is the molecule molecular formula is empirical formula multiplied by 2. That's what this means. So other use mark kondo we find the molecular formula. Hege empirical formula is CH2Cl. The value of N is 2 which means the molecular formula is C2 H4 Cl2. So every element, the ratio was multiplied by 2. So instead of 1 is to 2 is to 1, it is 2 is to 4 is to 2. Okay, which is same as 1 is to 2 is to 1 in terms of ratio. But the number of, uh, comp number of elements of carbon in a molecule is 2. Number of elements of hydrogen in a molecule is 4. And number of elements of chlorine in a molecule is 2. So this is how we find the molecular formula. So there were many, many steps to find this answer. So if you go back, we started with mass percentage. Then we found out how many, uh, each element, how many grams they were in 100 grams. From grams, we can convert it to moles by using molar mass of, a, uh, of an atom. And from molar mass, we can find the ratio of the individual element moles. Each mole the other news mark kondo. Now ratio candidate both. How many moles of carbon to how many moles of hydrogen to how many moles of chlorine? That ratio will eventually become empirical formula. The empirical formula. 
from empirical formula using again the formula unit and uh, kind of atomic weight we can calculate empirical formula mass and once you have empirical formula mass and original molecules molar mass we can find the molecular formula okay so this is a many step process and once you understand all the steps uh, it is quite straightforward usually all problems early now we start with something that converts to grams convert everything to moles in this case it's moles all these are in moles and then you can convert back into grams to find the molecular formula hopefully you found this useful um, see you soon with a new video till then bye thanks for watching